What are you guys doing in here? Today, we're going on a very cool hike this morning, and it also might be just a tad bit illegal, but Kathy's excited, so am I. We're going up to the rim of the world. so close sorry about this guys there's not a lot of room in this car but today we're taking a quick hike up at the top of what's called the rib of the world it's an interesting place where the backbone trail is but at the very top there is a what's known as a uh, a microwave station tower that is no longer being used it's not a necessarily legal place to hike but we're gonna go explore check it out Kathy's super excited as you can plainly see she's got her turquoise glasses on my glasses were lost it seems like for months and we saw me on a vlog with them on and we went where's those glasses and today while getting dressed I just had this thought look in your drawer I go in my drawer which I have never put in there and there they were in a box <laughs> I don't know why in the distance, way out here I think it is, is Catalina Island, and then PB is on the other side of Kathy, right there. Or maybe it's on this side, I don't know. If you can see that, I can't see it. otherwise known as the rim of the world on the other side of this bluff over here is the uh, backbone trail we're gonna take that for a short period and get to our destination you ready always troublemaker jailbreaker now the neat thing about this spot called rim of the world is that you can see down into the ocean which is a fog bank right now and you can see right over into the valley at the same time Check this out. That's the valley, all the way back in there. Kathy's favorite place. <laughs> you got all your turquoise going on again. Accident. Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> Looks like a big animal twirled in there. Twirled, you know. You sure it wasn't just a guy with a big butt? No, why would somebody sit there? No, it's a good view. No, it's an animal. That's the tower, and this is the closest we can get to it because of this and that. So that's as good as we're gonna get. Where we're gonna go next? Okay. Where? Oh yeah, we're gonna walk all the way along there, up here, and that's gonna be sweet. We went up to see the tower this tower 
way back here. Oh, we couldn't get in. No can do. Why? Big guy in a box. <laughs> There's a, a guard at the booth, sitting in the booth, wearing a headset, playing video games with somebody else online. And that's a pretty good job, though. You know, if he's getting paid to hang out and make sure idiots like us don't get in there. Right. That's pretty good. We'll find something else at school. spent the better part of the last five minutes scheming on how we could sneak into that area knowing full well that yeah we don't even really care i could take out the guard we didn't think of that that's true and knowing kathy and her amazing karate chop karate chop skills you could do that but then you you don't really want to hurt the guy all he's doing is playing video games oh, and that's right. kind of sad he can't even defend himself he'd have to hit you with his his little unit thing yeah and i would not want to be hit by his unit Right, or we could just wait till he gets really excited and he's in a really intense part and then just walk right past him, he wouldn't even notice. <laughs> That's true. She's still contemplating a way. Why? She's right there. Because there it is. You and hike, is a path. hike oh, straight up. Is that a path? It's gonna be a path. <laughs> She's going to jail for sure. And I'm not going with her. Where today? I don't know what the deal is, but every hiker we have passed has been wearing turquoise. I'm kind of feeling left out right now. Oh, check out my bottle. <laughs> this is so sad. Another couple we just passed and she was wearing turquoise. What the hell? That's Century City right there. And then over there, that's downtown. You see that tall building? That's the US Bank building. That's where we went down the slide. More turquoise. Check out this chair. It's perfect for you. Oh. <laughs> you may not be able to see it, but that is Catalina. All the way over. And this is Calabasas right through here. Woodland Hills, the valley, all the way to Burbank, Glendale, all of this down in here, Santa Monica Mountains, downtown is right there, Century City, San Gregorio Mountains, hard to see but PV is right there at the other side of that tip and back to Catalina, 360 degrees. And then Kathy is somewhere. I found a perfect place in the shade with a slightly spectacular view. Bon Appetit. Vegetarian hot dog sandwich. <laughs> That's all I had.
uh, wherever you go, 360 degrees all the way around. Oh, there's Kathy. Every direction is a spectacular view. Stunt road hike, amazing. Trekking back, it's about a mile and a half hike out to that point. You can't really go much further unless you go down the mountain, but the reward for it yeah. is incredible. Yeah. Pillbox, turquoise pillbox. Turquoise, turquoise, turquoise. Huh, incredible. We're just about back. There's the car. Overall trip, about three miles as we thought. Well worth it. It is hot. Yeah, it's about 87 degrees right now. But our home is still in fog. Yeah, 87 here, probably about 27 down in our house. Kathy's resting because of the, the hike. It was pretty intense, but I'm going up into town. Gonna meet up with the Grafman for some coffee. That should be fun. Fireball, what's up, baby? After the Montecito Carson Coffee vlog, this. My sister gave me this. Thanks, George. Never too old to get a Hot Wheels. Uh, they're just cool. I mean, check the SWAT, SWAT vehicle. Huh. As I've mentioned, our job here on the vlog is to help you guys in some way improve your life, whether it's inspire you to get out there and, and take a hike or to go to the beach or do something that brings you joy and brings you some peace of mind, gets you out of your head and gets you into uh, the present moment in some capacity. I think that, that kind of gets your, your blood pumping, but there's a much simpler way to be able to achieve that than going through the big elaborate process of having to take a long walk or, or go play a football game or, or something that, that forces you to get out of your head. And that simple process is about changing your state, changing your state of mind. The secret in doing that is that you, you have to decide that you want to do it. I mean, people get in a really bad mood, uh, Mr. or Mrs. Poopy Pants, and they just don't want to get out of that mood. They just want to stay in their muck. Nobody's in good shape when they're in the muck. They, 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 when they pull themselves out and they start thinking better and they stop dwelling on their problems and start focusing on their, their actions and things that they can do to solve them or at least pull themselves out of their muck and just start feeling better. Quick and simple, easy way to solve this problem in changing your state is to do something, is to, to stand up and start bouncing around. <laughs> it's to physically change yourself so that you're not doing the normal kind of thing where you're you're sitting around doing you know nothing like you know uh, office work or something where it doesn't require any physical activity you got to get up changing your state can be easy but you have to commit to it you have to decide that you want to get yourself out of your muck and do something good with your life you can go out you can take a hike you can go to the beach you can go to the park you can do something that gets you get you physically out of the, the muck that you're in and go do something fun or you can change your state right now right here in this moment <laughs> The question is, do you really want to? And if you do, you have to understand the consequences because the consequences for pulling yourself out of that muck and into the awesome can only mean awesome. And that's how it works, people, right here on the blog. Our job is to help you improve your life through what you love.